Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and that church behind me is Clapham Church. I'm in Clapham in West Sussex, and to help me on my walk today, as I go into the deepest, darkest Clapham woods, is the lovely Cynthia Julian. Hello, morning, Cynthia. Richard, morning. Morning. Uh, we are going on a walk into Clapham Wood. We are. A notorious wood. The famous Clapham Woods. Um, the infamous. Infamous, Clapham. indeed. Infamous because of the so called devil worshipping in the 1960s and 70s and mysterious dogs that used to disappear. All sorts of things have happened up here, yeah. We are taking with us to brave our walk today. But kept under strict control. <laughs> the one and only Echo. And she is already sniffing out any extraterrestrial or sinister devilish smells or atmosphere. And I don't think she's found anything <laughs> untoward. So we're quite safe to go on. Can we? Yes. All right. OK. I'm going to be guided by you and Echo. <laughs> But I have to say, I've been coming up here a lot of my life and I haven't disappeared yet. Oh, but there's always a first <laughs> always time, a first. <laughs> which is rather good. It's a picturesque spot, isn't it, Lovely here in, um, just so people get an idea, those that don't live in the county where Clapham is, we're just north of Horsham, uh, Horsham, uh, Worthing. Just north of Worthing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're just north of Worthing, off the A27, really. Yeah. Um, You've got Patching, Patching, and yep. Clapham uh, here. That's sort of one parish. Which is one parish. You've got this yeah. beautiful, uh, wonderful church that is um, flint finished and it's got its tower. And then some lovely old farm buildings around. It's a lovely spot, actually. And then this large wood. No, it is a big wood. I can't remember how many acres, but it is big. It is big. And, and it's ancient. So we've just crossed a, a nice meadow and we're going to go into it right now. And there should be some bluebells coming here. So yeah, bluebells up in this yeah. way, but not up yet. Yeah, there should be. Oh really? I can see some already. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Here we go, the first of the bluebells. How I make they they're very purpley, aren't they? Yeah. So I imagine the wood will be, um, there'll be areas of the wood then, because this is a very ancient wood, isn't it, that will be yes, covered in. Um, I think we will. And lovely little anemones. <coughs> Which ones are the anemones? The white yeah, ones? Yeah. Little wood Thanks. <laughs> as soon as you get into uh, this section of the wood, you start to hear all the birds, don't you? And it's, now, it's beautiful. In parts that you can't hear any birds at all, so at the moment we can hear quite a lot. <laughs> well, I hope that we can continually hear them. As soon as we stop hearing the birds, yeah. <laughs> we'll make a run for it. <laughs> I think we've got mostly at the moment a lot of hazel here. Yeah, it's all coppice hazel here, isn't it? And, and it's very well laid out, actually. Are we going straight on? We've kind of yeah, come to. Yeah, let's a... go straight on. So look, oh yeah, look, there's some bluebells over here. Yeah, they're all coming now. They're all coming. I'm just going to weave through into the coppice here. Over the primroses. What were the white ones? Wooden enemies. Wooden enemies. And then here we go. These are the first of the proper bluebells that I've seen. I feel very, very, very rewarded already. Oh, you've disappeared. Oh no, you're there. <laughs> I thought she'd vanished then. Not yet. Oh wow, yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. That is amazing. Sussex Downs Conservation Board. So we've got a footpath sign here, nicely illuminated, telling you it's only for walking. Uh, footpath bridleway. Oh it just really tells you what's what what is, but it doesn't tell you what this one is. So that's a bit strange. It just says what they all are, but it doesn't say what this one is. So anyway, we're going to cross over this little thing. Another another style. It's got a little dog trap there. Look at that. And then we come into this rather lovely meadow. 
which has all these oak trees in just planted randomly i suppose at one time it's probably full of oaks and they've cleared yeah, they've it probably cleared the wood and just kept the proper timber very nice so do you think this is a shoot area yes, then? Yes, definitely. Just in some pheasants. Echo saw some pheasants. Oh yeah, you said you saw... No, definitely. Definitely Keyford. Yeah. So is this the area where on those posts, there's some little posts there. That's, That's where shooting. people would, the, the, yeah. the people with the guns, with the guns. <laughs> I don't do shooting, so I don't really know how it works. <laughs> but the people with the guns, they'll be stood there looking up, waiting, and then there'll be the beaters inside the out, woods. Come out of the woods, the pheasants. <laughs> And then they get massacred. And then, if they can, if they're any good at shooting, I presume, yeah. <laughs> and these are the sort of city types who come down quite for a few. <laughs> yeah, a bit quite of a day a few. out. <laughs> and they pay good money, don't they? Very good money. It's very, very beautiful. It's quite. Even though it's misty. Yes. It's still lovely. Yes, uh, it's quite unusual to see a, an area with trees like that and grass all around in that sort of very relaxed way yeah there we are another style to cross and and we're all very easily directed where to go it's interesting that um all the trees now are just very slowly in this very early early incarnation of coming into yeah. leaf tinge of green a little tinge and now we have another continuation of a, what looks like a slightly older coppice here Cynthia. Richard. I remember when I was being um, taken here to the wood about 15 years ago yeah. by a chap called Charles Walker uh -huh. who wrote a book about the devil worship and the weird sinister things that went on here in Clapham Wood being taken to a tree that was supposed to have some weird significance. Yeah, this is it. The and beach, this... The beach tree. The beech tree. And here it is. It is a big, big tree. Have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The big old wieldy beech tree which in a darkened wood on a moonlit night with perhaps some mist coming through you could perhaps be easily mistaken and think there's something dynamic about it but actually it's just a very very beautiful venerable old tree with many arms which beech trees do have but there is some curious carving here in the in the bark none of it's sinister though no, none of it. do you feel anything um any weird atmospheres or anything like that cynthia no Pardon? no i don't feel anything at all it's a nice tree it's a nice tree um. I rather like it and, a well -looked up tree. and it, it's like the father or mother of the forest isn't it it is actually yeah I wonder if there are more of them and they've gone over the years I know they lost a lot in the 87 storm right because um, they have actually for the, the size they have shallow um, root yes, system well, this is the trouble with trees in general, isn't it? yeah look at them I mean you look at these roots and they are quite they are quite uh, you know spread out like an octopus gripping onto the ground there's a lot of weight going down to hold that up we've just come to a view which is really enhanced by the uh, mist at the moment Cynthia mm, isn't it? It is lovely. We're looking over the gate here down now we're looking what northish? Yeah black patch. We've got black patch, Harrow Hill yeah. presumably yeah, yeah. and then Long Furlong which is immediately in front of us and if we were to go clumping down, down this hill <laughs> we'd end up on the road near the toll house presumably. I think we're probably pretty much opposite it yeah. Yeah you yeah. can't see it luckily and so the sound has virtually disappeared of the road that is. Mm -hmm. 